Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Taurus. And I need you to listen to this first part of my message before you scroll past it to listen to the reading, okay? Some of you are following the wrong account on TikTok. Please, there's a scammer out there. They have over 5,000 people following them. They are following the wrong account. Do not be that desperate to get a reading from me. Please pay attention. I have 28... Point four, if I'm not mistaken, um, for, um, thousand followers on TikTok. Make sure you're following the right account, please. These people will take your money. They are not me. I only have one account. Be careful. We have a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. A lot of them think I don't know who they are. I do know. Believe me, there are two parts to me. I'm really nice and loving, believe me. But I don't like to see people being scammed. That's something I cannot stand. So this nice person, she can bring her other part out too. <laughs> you see, that's the part I don't know. I'm really quiet. People have put their hands on me before in the past and I haven't done nothing. People have done things to me. Careful. What you give out, you get back. And I don't have to do nothing anymore. When I was young, I was very vindictive. It was an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And believe me, that girl is still within me. But today I choose not to be that person. We all have a choice. Whatever you think you gain, especially if it's with ill intent, you will lose more than you think you have gained. Trust and believe that. And I will leave it there. So darlings, be careful. And the reason I sent that message is because I know they come here and they look. I want you to be careful, please. Be very careful. So, Taurus, let's see what messages we have for you. I will be using, I, I, I don't know if I said this, but I'll be using my Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck. To clarify, I'll be using my Cosmic Tarot, and then I will pull you a card from my Soul's Truth Self-Awareness deck. So let's see what messages we have for you. So Taurus, this is for you. The moon, you're not seeing something clearly. What's going on? There's been a shift. There's a, there was a shift in your environment, either with job or with love. Maybe you are seeing things clearly, actually, because I got the Ten of Pentacles here. And there was a shift, and this was a positive shift for you. This was very positive. This could have been that you came into some money. It could have to do with domestic love. It would have it could have to do with attaining a home, finally being able to move into your home. My phone is jumping. Why is my phone acting like this? Then I've been trying to make these videos for <laughs> a while. So then we got the Nine of Pentacles. You are starting to see your rewards. Whatever it is that you attained here, you are collecting right now. 
but you got some negative thoughts. You feel kind of trapped with this situation. Why? The Queen of Swords, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or you can be thinking about communicating with someone and that has you a little tied up inside. You feel trapped. Then you got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is about romantic offers or some kind of offer. It could be a contract, some kind of contract. But it could be romantic. And you got the King of Swords. I think this is an energy in your environment. Or maybe you made the contact you've been thinking about. Whatever it is, darling, you're working on it very, very hard. The Eight of Pentacles. Eighth of Pentacles. So the moon, let's see the moon. Something ha happened real fast. This money, or maybe the Knight of Swords is saying that this money that came in, this money came in very, very fast. You weren't expecting it. It was unexpected. Maybe just before that, you were not seeing things clearly. Maybe you were a little worried. Maybe you had other things in your mind. But then there was a shift or messages in regards to this money. But you got it. So on top of the moon, we got the Princess of Wands, we got the Five of Cups, and we got the Five of Pentacles. So when you had the moon moment, this, you weren't seeing nothing. You were all in your head. You were upside down emotionally. I mean, there was a part of you that was still there. You felt, you know, a little vivacious and a little alive. But for the most part, you were just like, huh, down, out. I got the Five of Cups. I got the Princess of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Cups is about emotionally empty. That's how you feel. The Five of Pentacles is the mindset of, of lack. You feel like you're out in the cold, like you don't have. That's temporary. Okay, because you know there's a shift that came. So you got the Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. The mindset of lack. The mindset of lack. And then we got the Knight of Swords. We got the on top of the Knight of Swords, we got the Four of Cups, we got the Eight of Swords, and we got the King of Swords. And you got the Eight of Swords down here. Now, in this deck here, in the Rider Waite um, Rider Waite deck, to me, this is about being so tied up, and you know, you trapped yourself with whatever happened. You got yourself into a situation. But over here, for me, for the Eight of Swords, it looks like you're thinking about walking away, or maybe someone walked away from you. What is going on with my phone? So, and then, oh, this is an energy in your environment. This is, this is an air energy. This is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius in your energy. I'm 100% sure because we got the King of Swords here. It was an air energy. Maybe there was some kind of loss. You know, you're very emotional. You know, you're emotional over here. You're very emotional. Maybe somebody walked away from you. Maybe it was the King of Swords. But with that walk away, you came into some money. Maybe. Or maybe this King of Swords energy brought in that finances. The finances, you never know. So, on top of the Ten of Swords, you got the Five of Wands. Oh, people want some money from you, don't they? You got the hanged man and you got the moon. You don't know what to do and you kind of stuck. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, I wonder. What should I do? You got the five of wands, the hanged man, and the moon. So 
So there's some kind of struggle going on and it has to do where this money is concerned. You know, when things go upside down in a family and when money is involved and things like that, sometimes there's a lot of conflict. So, but I think it's already passed, okay? Then you have the Nine of Pentacles. On top of the Nine of Pentacles, you got the Two of Cups, you got the Ace of Cups, and you got the Seven of Swords. Be careful, there might be someone deceitful around you. And you might be aware of it too. I got the Two of Cups, I got the Ace of Cups, and I got the Seven of Swords. Be sure that this love is the right kind of love for you. Maybe this King of Swords came in just when you got that money. Or maybe they're hanging around because you got that money. Think about it. Or let me rephrase that. Maybe the air energy. Because it's neither male nor female. It's just an energy, okay? So the two cups, at least you're feeling this is unified love. You got abundance. This is a new love. But there's deceit around it. Okay, this is a warning. Be careful. You are seeing the finances coming in. Finances are here. You are receiving them already. But just watch that energy. Okay? Careful with the energy. The Eight of Swords. See, on top of the Eight of Swords, we have the Strength card. So you will untie yourself with all what you tied yourself up in. You're going to untie yourself. Trap yourself. The Five of Swords. Okay, so we got the Strength card, we got the Five of Swords, and you got the Ace of Pentacles. This is about money. You hear me? Now, you got your inner strength back. And there you're going you're gonna to untie yourself. Whatever is going on, you're going to step back. You're going to say, you know what? Enough is enough. You may open your voice and you may speak. Draw your boundaries. I hope this records okay because... As I'm speaking, my, I'm looking at myself here and I'm delayed. But we'll see what happens. So, you got the Ace of Pentacles too. So, the Ace of Pentacles is about new financial opportunities. So, you might be taking some of that money to invest it. Now, be careful, all right? Because this is a seven year. You don't want to invest too much or do some research and do your stuff first. Seven years, they say, is like the year of loss and not, don't invest this year, don't get married this year. So many things, right? And all those things I learned from, um, I got from GG33 Academy, all right? You guys can check him out. He's a numerologist. I look at his numerology stuff. And I'm part of his academy. But anyway, um, the Strengths card, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. You found your strength, there's some kind of struggle. And the struggle there again is with the money, the conflict. There's still some conflict around this money. And here comes the air energy again. Let's see what's going to happen here. You're making a plan. There's progress. You're being patient. You're probably going to court. I got the justice card. Because that might be the way to handle things. Or maybe that's where it came from. Maybe it. It came from the past, okay? This money came from the past. And you're in your head. Maybe you're thinking about, dang, do I really got to go to court for this crap? You know? If you do, it will be in your favor, okay? The just scales of justice... Most likely it will be in your favor. Whatever the decision will be, it will be fair all across the board. I got the, and you got some options, okay? Your options ain't closed off. Your, your options ain't closed off where love is concerned or money, okay? You got some ideas. You got the three of, um, three of wands, the justice card, and the seven of cups. It's up to you what you choose, okay? Then you got the Page of Cups. Now, they got some people who love to love bomb you. I mean, they come in. They come in with a force. And then when you get to know that person, they're a little different. 
just be careful, okay? On top of the Page of Cups, we got the Emperor, we got the Princess of Pentacles, and we got the Princess of Swords. So the Emperor is about stability, or it could be an energy in your environment that you may want to talk to. I personally say go with them and see if this energy, this, this air energy is the correct energy for you, and you answer your own question. Because you already have ideas of what's going on. Okay, you have to, you get a feeling. When something seems off, you get a feeling. So you just go, if you get, if you have gotten that feeling, go within quietly and just figure out what it is. Ask. Ask your guides, your ancestors. Ask your ancestors, your guides. As source, your angels, as your whole spirit team, what should you do? You will have the right answer. You will make the right choice. So, or you can go to this energy here if this is an energy. Now, the emperor, right? Sometimes the emperor is a, is an older um, person in your environment. There's someone who they're stable. They have their own. It's not romantic. But they do give you advice and they will help you if you need help. And then you, I see the Princess of Pentacles here, you know, you're kind of grounded and you might be doing some wishing and manifesting, you know. And you might be studying the details of certain things. Probably the situation that's going on. Or you might be awaiting some messages. You got the Emperor, the Princess of Pentacles, and you got the Princess of Swords. Could be communication. Maybe you just need to study the details of everything and you can take care of it all. On top of the King of Swords here is the Three of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. I will say that this is an energy for real. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This energy brings you some good luck. You're fortunate. You're fortune. You got good fortune. So... I got the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. I got the Queen of Pentacles, which would be you, Taurus. And I got the Wheel of Fortune, which is karmic good luck on your side. And I do see a lot of luck. Yeah, you're a little tied up, you know, because you got some decisions. You got some people who may be wanting a little too much, you know, or suddenly they came out the woodwork and they suddenly your friend. You know how it works. Just be careful, all right? Whatever it is that you're dealing with, just be careful. I hope it's nobody asking you for money that you don't know either. Or somebody who pretending they love you and it's on the phone or it's on a video. These people are resilient. <laughs> these people not resilient. These people are, they got ways of doing things to make you think you're speaking to someone, okay? So be careful. Be careful. And some of them even let you speak to them. And they are scammers. Be careful. Might be something like that. Just be aware. So you got the Three of Cups, which is about celebration. You got the Queen of Pentacles, which is you. And you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is karmic good luck on your side. And that's above the air energy. You feel this is it's a good energy. It's up to you, darling. Whatever you feel. But you were thinking about walking away from that energy. Or maybe since that energy has exited your life. Maybe now you can celebrate and you feel good. And you got your own and you got your own luck happening. Life is finally feeling good for you. Maybe you started healing. So then we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Fool. We got the Three of Pentacles. And then we got the Tower. You're going to have a little chaos and confusion again here. All right, that's, you know, we'll look at it as a warning, okay? Chaos and confusion will come. Um, there is going to be a new beginning for you. It is coming. The universe is working on it. I got the three of pentacles here. This could be some kind of teamwork or collaboration or some, it's something. You're going to be working with someone or building something with someone. However, there's going to be a tower moment. It's going to be some chaos and confusion. Things will feel like they're falling down. 
maybe it was not maybe it was meant to feel that way and it was meant to be this way because this is to teach you something all right darlings just sit back and let this moment happen and then you got the queen of cups you could be feeling very sensitive after this towel moment, or that could be an energy in your environment. That could be a water energy. That could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. But darling, regardless, you will, you will be above your challenges. You hear me? This is the abundance card. This is the empress. You have it. You're good. Everything will work out. These are just the bumps in the road of life. And we can overcome them. I'm telling you this. So let's see what message we have from the Soul Truth Self-Awareness deck for you. From whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes your heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to all fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles. Drop the expectations and be grateful for what it is. To, your soul's action is, look at the person you're judging as if you're looking at a small child. Remember, even if it's yourself, it's okay to do self-reflections and self-evaluations. As if you're looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this, to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless, and so are they. I love you, darlings. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon.